All right, well, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I filmed a video and this is because I now have a job since YouTube only makes me 20 bucks a month, which that's why every time you subscribe, it means so much because I'm like, hey, at least someone's watching. Um, but I love filming this video, so I still will. And I'm gonna do a video on what job I have because I only work Friday, Saturday, Sunday um, for a couple hundred each week. So today's topic is what do you do when you have a really advanced child in math? This is what I do with my advanced child in math. I'm gonna show you today. First, I got two products of the day. This is the Brainy Bunch. I took it out from the library. It's a fantastic book. It's about your children doing college and high school at the same time and basically pursuing their passions. So essentially every day you do reading, writing, and math. And reading and writing is in the area of interest for the child. So for example, my six-year-old, he is, um, a roboticist or trained to be a roboticist or loves robots, whatever you wanna call it. So that's what we do there. In another video, I'm gonna show you one of the books I use with him, um, a robot curriculum, if you will. And my other child is trained to be um, an architect. He loves it. Now, of course, if they switch passions, they can, you know, then you switch it up. It's not a big deal. But the reading and writing is done in those areas. So for example, you can do an essay a day and things like that. And then I also am doing another video today about history. So what do you do? How do you fit history in? What do you do if a child doesn't like history? That's that other video, but today we are talking about math. Again, I got one more product for you. These are to teach a child to read because once a child can read independently, oh my gosh, the, your schooling can cut down. Like the amount of effort you put into schooling personally cuts down dramatically because they're able to read on their own, right? Well, for children who have trouble with sight words, these are some of my favorite cards. And this definitely, so you have big on one side, right? Well, watch when you flip it over then once they memorize it, cause it's using mnemonic devices, once they memorize it with that, then you can do it this big. So it just helps them because there's a ton of words in here. These are by Frazzles. These are the Dolch pre-primer ones. Um, these, yes, these are the Dolch pre-primer ones and I have the Dolch ones, which Dolch is a list. You move on after the Dolch to fry, but it's essentially the 200 most popular words used in children's books. It was, it was from years and years and years ago yeah, these are the most popular words. So if you pick up like a Dr. Seuss book, a lot of those words were based, like those lists were based on these. They're, they're just common words, and and at, and things like that. Now sight words are generally words that you can't sound out. Um, but either way, if your child is having trouble sounding out words and you just wanna like, you just wanna jump into reading, like you wanna accelerate their reading, I, I use these and it helped me. But I have children who, although advanced in math when it comes to reading a not, so these help me uh, dramatically. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Should I show another product? No, I'll save that for the other videos. Okay, let me get down to, now I have used Math with Confidence and I've used a ton of math curriculums, but I switched and I've used online ones and I have paid ones and I've used, um, I wanna say teaching textbooks. Or, there's one online, I forget what it's called, that I've used as well that I still have a membership to, but the one that I keep going back to time and time again, especially for my advanced child and for my other child is not advanced. There's two reasons why. Because this is mastery, so, I, again, Math with Commons is Mastery and Spiral. Curriculums used in schools are Spiral. It really doesn't matter in my opinion as long as they're thoroughly learning the subject matter. And so that's why I like Math Mammoth for my advanced child, because let me show you why. And for my non-advanced child, because, um, okay, so this is, so for example, this is what we start off. So let's see, addition practice. So I just put choose two, this is for the advanced child, all right? For the other child that needs more work, you can do them all. So now spiral is, um, you do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. So you learn addition and then some subtraction, and then how to tell time, and then you go back to some different dash. That's not how I wanna teach. I wanna teach um, full on till they have nailed addition, then we'll move on to subtraction. Okay, so with the advanced child, now he's in here, so he can't write some of the answers, right? Especially when he started this, I think he was, I don't know, four or five but he can't, so he couldn't write some of the answers. So he would use a crayon sometimes, but he would just tell me the answers. All right, so for example, you choose two for the child needs more, you need more. So then you flip on and you're going on. Now, sometimes because he also has ADHD, sometimes I fill it in. So basically what I wanna do is I go through here with him and I see, okay, try these, try these, like a couple here and a couple there. Now, because this is mastery, if you wanna make it spiral, you can go back later and pick out a few questions to have them do. You're not meant to do all these questions. So it starts with, I like it is because it does, so you'll start with like, for example, sums with five. 
Okay, and then when you get up then the next, it's gonna be sums with six. So what we'll do is I'll make sure, hey, does he have these nailed down, sums with five? So this is, okay, zero plus five, and then making the equation themselves. Okay, so we'll do, I'll say for example, all right, you gotta do like some of these, some of these, I just, I decide how much we're doing. Okay, so two plus what equals five, just to make sure, does he get this? Does he get this? So we move through it at a super fast rate because he does. So for example, sometimes I make him do the whole thing. Like Jack and Jill share five cucumbers and six lemons in different ways. Find out how many Jill gets. Okay, so if Jack gets two, what's left for Jill? If Jack gets one, what's left for Jill? And then see how I only have a couple figures done here because I'm like, all right, just choose two, right? And then he can just tell me the answers. There, I think he's starting doing some writing or I may have been writing upside down. <laughs> it's tough to tell. So, but as long as I know he knows it, I'm not gonna sit there, especially because the ADHD, the ODD, I'm not gonna sit there and be like, just you have to do it, you have to do it. No, I just need to know that you know how to do it. So here we did three and then what I do too is I do to show him one because he has really trouble waiting for patience for me to show him is I say, all right, I'm gonna do the first one. So I'll count one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll say, okay, then the next number is two. One, two, and this is the answer seven. And I'll say, check my work. Is my work correct? Every once in a while I throw in a wrong number and I'll say, check my work. Just to make it a little different. So we move through this at a fast rate because if he gets it, he'll start getting real upset because he gets it. Even though he's still just in kindergarten, he gets it. So I'm going through just so he knows the basics. Like down here, because they were bigger numbers, I was like, hey, let's do these, even though again, he gets it. But I was still like, I wanna see if you know how to do this. So if you do two, these two, then, we can, then we're done math for the day. All right, so 13 plus one is what? 13 plus two is what? So for example, because again, I just wanna see what he can do. So we go through it at a very, as you'll see, we go through it at a very quick rate. We skip a lot. Whereas the other child, we do not skip a lot. When I get to an area, I wanna make sure that he knows, so this is adding many numbers. I wanna make sure that he knows without a doubt these. So if you can see, it looks like some crazy work because I drew some flowers. Molly was picking flowers. First she picked two pretty ones, then she found more and picked three more flowers. So I was drawing flowers and then he drew the stems and just so that we could kind of work together to figure out, does he know how to do word problems? Yes, he does. Does he know how to do these word problems? As we get higher, Jack has 10 rabbits. One morning he came to see them and then he only saw six rabbits. How many were missing? And so can he do, so basically, can he do this? This is interesting, true or false? One plus two plus three equals six. So that's interesting. I've showed you in other math videos, the morning challenges we've done with different math from, um, I think it's Teachers Pay Teachers. So I've showed you that before. But basically this is also teaching, different numbers. So anyway, that's what we do just to make sure he's got it. I would do the first one. All right, I'm gonna do the first one to show you how to do it, to make sure I know how to do it. Because I say, I'm learning with you. Because I am, that's the truth. So let me do it with you. All right, so then this one, like for example, Double means two times the main things. Draw dots or sticks. Write the total of marks. Because he can do three or four math, but grade three or four. But I just want to make sure, does he get this? Okay, so double two. Doubles and twos, right? Double three. So this we just do, a lot of it we just do orally. Or we point to it. Like if he's sitting on my lap after we're reading books, I'm not going to be picky and say, let's sit at the table. For the other child, just have it. We sit at the table all the time and do it. This child, no, I spice it up, we sit different places. So this was, so look, one plus one is two, right? Two plus two is four. I pointed the spot, because he can't do numbers really yet, but I pointed to the spot and he tells me the answers. All right, so you following me? So that's how I do math with my advanced, gifted, math-oriented child. Now also for this book, The Brainy Bunch, just so you know her children, um, I think she had like 10 go to, I don't know, like eight it, go to college at 12, right? So she tells how she did it and her children aren't brilliant. They just pursue areas they love, which is what my children do as well. All right, next video I'm gonna talk about my job and then I'm gonna talk about what do you do if a kid hates history? What do you do? I know, cause I have one. <laughs> I do, probably doesn't surprise you. All right, talk to you next video, bye. You say please like and subscribe. Hey, bye, do
And hit the bell for notifications. Hit the bell, you know what that's <laughs> <laughs>